Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to start a little vlog. This is gonna be uni reading, all of that. So it is currently the 13th of January. So happy new year, everybody. If, um, yeah, I hope you're all staying safe. And I, if you're interested, I uploaded some like end of the year videos, like my best books, my worst books, um, most surprising books and some of my goals. So if you're interested in those videos, I will have them linked down below for you guys. But I first thought we'd start off with my textbook. So I don't know if any of you care, but I have four textbooks this semester and I thought I'd show them to you guys. So I only have four courses this semester because I took six last semester. So I'm gonna be like less busy, but that just means I could put more work into these courses, time for reading, and time for my YouTube channel. So I think it'll be pretty good. But first off, I have a criminological theories <laughs> for my first textbook. Um, this is for my crim course, obviously. <laughs> Some nice graphs going on in here. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what this is gonna be all about. Um, I don't have a textbook for mythology just because we do a lot of just online reading and stuff. So that's, the, that's my course from last semester, but it's a year long, so it's gonna be this semester as well. So I have criminological theories, um, criminological theory, and then I have <laughs> my course, uh, the classical mythology. Uh, so I decided to take an English course this semester as well. So I'm taking foundations of literary study. So for this, we got the the Norton introduction to literature, which this seems super fun. Um, I just took the plastic wrap off, so it's like brand new. But this one, I'm already really liking this class. Like we just, I just read a short story for it, but. Basically, it talks about, you know, fiction, plot, like going into subplots, narrative point of view, character setting, symbols, like all the stuff I like. Poetry, there's a whole bunch of stuff on poetry in here. Theme and tone, understanding the text, analyzing it, situations and setting, visual imagery, figures of speech, uh, symbols. So there's a lot of things that this talks about that I'm really excited about. So there's this, and then along with that class, they also wanted, like it was required to get a glossary of literary terms. So we have that. And then my last course is called Death. <laughs> so it's a philosophy course on death. So I thought that was super interesting. So I've been super excited for this course, but I have the Oxford Handbook of Philosophy of Death. So yeah, this one, I'm excited to, to delve into this course. I feel like it's gonna be super interesting. And I love my philosophy courses last semester. And I think my best grade last semester was philosophy. So yeah, this just talks about death and how people, different people view it, I guess, and different cultures view it, and I don't know, different, analyzing different parts of it, I don't know exactly, but either way, I'm super intrigued, so yes. For a reading update, I did just read a short story. Um, it was, it's short, it's not that long, trust, trust, <laughs> like it's, it's not too impressive, but I've already read two things this year, so two out of 80, which I'm happy about, um, but I read story of an hour this was like super short thing and the thing is they didn't even tell us to read it they just kind of gave us like a sheet full of like stuff about it uh, and then I looked it up and I just read it because uh, I want to actually read it as well but it's basically I don't want to give it away but apparently it was originally published in Vogue it came out in like eight the 1800s it's uh, kind of feminist in a way um, it's about this girl this, it's about this woman named Mrs. Mallard who has a heart condition and she gets the news that her husband dies and she goes to her room to think about it and she's maybe a little joyous about it um yeah so it's it's it was pretty interesting i i don't know what i would rate it because i don't know it's for school um I, I sometimes i don't rate books for school sometimes i do um but yeah that one was not bad i just finished it so i don't even really know what i want to give it the actual first novel i completed this year is 5432 not 543 4321 by Courtney Stevens. This story follows different teenagers as they board bus 21, which a man on the bus has a bomb and the bomb goes off. And we have four survivors in this story and we follow them and how different people process trauma, even though maybe they were all like, even though they were all on the same bus, they all process trauma differently and affected all of their lives completely differently. So we follow that in each person and their struggles does have some trigger warnings like suicide and self-harm if there's any more i'll put them on the screen last time i put them down below and like <laughs> my video got like demonetized and i was like uh oh so yeah uh, i'll probably put them on the screen for you guys but it was really it was a really interesting 
work and there's also a fundraiser going for them to contribute to their college education so each chapter has like the, the money for the survivors so for example chapter four they're up to twelve thousand dollars in donations and stuff and yeah overall this was super interesting i'm excited to like go through all my tabs again and write my goodreads review and get my thoughts all out but i think i'm giving this around a 3.5 i'm not sure but it was still like super super good and i just find it really interesting to see how different people react to trauma and even though this the same event happened to these certain amount of people it doesn't mean like everyone deals with it differently and everybody you know there's some ways that people deal with trauma that are you know not healthy obviously and there's some ways that people deal with trauma that other people wouldn't agree with and yeah so i just found it really interesting to read and i really liked it so i think i'm giving it a 3.5 there's also a female female relationship in this there's some disability rep within this um, um one of the survivors lost his legs in the accident so yeah it was a pretty good story though i'm glad i read it hey guys so it is the next day the lighting is really weird because it's like 5 30 sun setting this is my lamp so <laughs> That's what we're going with, but for today I didn't end up reading anything so far, well except for school stuff, so I worked on my criminological theory class and we mostly talked about like biology of crime and then I also started my death class um, and I just watched those lectures and like read some, some stuff for that. We looked at a lot of images, so like yeah, um, that's what I've been up to. And yeah, last night I was also playing like VR, which was super fun. My boyfriend has it. And so him, myself, and one of my other friends all play it together and it's super fun. Um, I'm, I really like it. I'm so, cause I've never played VR before. So I'm very interested in it. <laughs> but yeah, I stumbled upon like in the middle of the night, I couldn't sleep. I'm getting a phone call. I don't want to answer it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so I was just wondering, like, uh, I was watching Jordan and I's collab, Jordan Hardy, Jordan Harvey, our collab from, like, a few years ago, and we did one on her channel and on mine, and I watched both of them, and it was so long ago, and we're both so little, and I don't know, I was just, like, looking at myself, and like, who is that? And, I don't know, I think it's really interesting, like, for any creator that's been creating content for a long time, if you look back at your old stuff, and then at your new stuff, and it's just really cool to see where you were then, and where you are now, and then... You know, sometimes it feels like you don't really see the progress until you do look back. So when you do look back, you're like, oh damn, I actually improved. <laughs> so that's all I really wanted to say, but I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know what you're currently reading down in the comments. I'd love to know. And yes, I'm holding the pen like, do you guys ever do this with? Yeah, I don't know. That's all. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some of the stickers that I got recently from uh, planning with Kay. They had their Black Friday sale, so I ordered a bunch of stuff and it finally got here. I used a few of them already, but I want to show you what I got. There's 50 of them here, so I'll try to make it fast as possible. It's like the most amount of stickers I've ordered at once.
very bright lighting and it's hurting my eyes <laughs> but uh good morning it is friday or saturday i think it's saturday uh i just did a little journal spread that i shared with you guys yeah this is really bright that looks worse um so i shared a little journal spread that i did with you guys i watched corpse bride yesterday and i really really liked it i've never seen it before and like i love a nightmare before christmas so i was excited to watch it and it was it was so good it was better than i thought it was gonna be and it was a lot shorter than i thought it was be gonna be it was only like an hour an hour and 10 or 20 minutes so if you have the time for it i would recommend it but i did a little journal spread for that so hopefully that angle turned out okay i know it's weird i don't i don't know how to film journal videos like i don't have to get that up shot but like my tripod i'm trying to make it do that but it doesn't do that and i have like three tripods so i really don't want to buy a new one <laughs> but i also just watched ali's video with her like spreadsheet that she made so i like made a copy of that and then i've been adding the two books in that i've read so far this year in there so i added that so i get to like i'll just show you guys how cool it is but i'll link her video like down below get like a walkthrough as well because i watched the walkthrough just to be sure i know what i was doing um but essentially you have your books read your yearly stats your monthly stats your habit tracker books read or sold releases own library readathons and video ideas so I did delete some things that I just wasn't interested in and I still don't know if I'll use the habit tracker just because I, I don't track my pages read every day. I just don't. Um, and I, it's the 16th and I've yet to do that. So it would just leave this thing with like, the, like the 16th starts here, but I didn't track it at all here because I usually don't track it. So then it would look blank. And then there's like a bar on the side as well like Allie put so much work into this so definitely check it out but so far for my books read you can track like a whole bunch of stuff and then there's more stuff I like the trigger warning section I usually track it on here not gonna lie but I can also I think I'm gonna use both because <laughs> this is like a much simpler version but it's just to have on my notion I guess I don't know excited for all the graphs so I already fucked something up which is great. Um, I'll go back and fix it because I'm kind of familiar, like I'm pretty familiar with spreadsheets so I could probably fix it. But um, yearly stats, I, here, so this is what it's looking like so far. Um, yeah. My sub genres, I put as feminist and mental health because <laughs> like I didn't know what else the sub genre was, but so far classic and contemporary. And we got like all the format stuff here where it was read from so borrowed um other traditional publishing Ooh, there was a problem oh love that for me okay well i'll just leave it like this <laughs> point is it's uh pretty great so that's what i've been doing do you guys my completed spread for this guy it's all right i tried my best to draw her i did i really did like it took it didn't take me that long but like i tried i'm probably gonna erase all the marks after because uh i sketched it with pencil first so i'll probably do that and yeah but i think it kind of looks like her and then i printed out a little photo of her in black and white and i have this guy which i thought was perfect this sticker from planning with k and then this one as well and then this nice quote when i watched it and i gave it four to five uh, so i just think that's nice but yeah these are some of my uh, there's spreads i got like a bunch of stuff in the mail and like one of them came with like a wax seal so i put some stuff in here i have like my assignment tracker over here <laughs> i have my reading tracker like this is for school um and then my quiz tracker so i'm working on that as well <laughs> but yeah that's my journal for this year so today is the 19th and right now I'm just about to get started on some English work that I have to do. I have like my textbook out and everything, but I want to give you guys a reading update. So on the 16th, so a few days ago, I read this. <laughs> Basically, it's a short story. I don't want to butcher any names right now, so I'm just not going to say the title of the author. But it was from a mythology class. I put this as like a no rating just because I don't really know how to rate it, but it was like enjoyable. I guess uh, it was just for class and it was one of the only stories like that that actually has kind of a happy ending which was a little weird to see because usually everybody just you know dies or bad thing hap bad things happen to them in mythology or they get turned into a rock or a river so 
it's nice that <laughs> somebody got a happy ending, kind of. So that's for that. But I also started and finished The One and Only Bob by Katherine Applegate. Um, this is a sequel to The One and Only Ivan, and it is so, so cute. It's basically about this dog, and he's friends with a gorilla and an elephant, and it's their little journeys. But there's a tornado that happens throughout this book, and he has to kind of survive and we follow Bob who is the dog on the cover and he has to survive and we just kind of see like his friends that he has and the situations that he goes through and like animal captivity and things like that because the gorilla is in like a mall or he used to be in a mall and that's where they all met was in like this mall like exhibit kind of thing where they had like a gorilla and an elephant there so that's what this is about it was super cute with this nice illustrations it's a middle grade we got big font so it was super easy to read like i was surprised i finished it so fast uh, just because yeah i don't know but the back says i'll always give a dog the benefit of the doubt life is short play is good and there are plenty of tennis balls to go around yeah so if you're looking for like a nice like light read that's really fun also like my lip is fucked up here but if you're looking for something that's fun and enjoyable and easy read that kind of thing then i would recommend it this so there you guys have it that is going to be my vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below comment just hearts in the comments any color that you prefer and yeah thank you so much if you stayed till the end i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you super soon bye